good day viewers welcome to cyber tech arena today i'll be teaching you how to install goldfish framework on a vps server but before we continue i would like to put a disclaimer this video is for educational purpose and nothing in this video should be misused so without further ado the first thing you have to do is you need a vps server so you choose your vps prov uh, server provider i'll be using digital ocean for this video so if you want to use digital ocean you create one you create your account you're going to be giving a free access 200 dollar uh, to create uh, to get your account so you get to this dashboard so once you see this dashboard you go to create and uh, you go to droplets that is what they call their own server so you scroll up now you can choose the region that is closest to you so I'll be using Singapore for this video just choose any region you like but choose the one that is closest to you then for the image i'm going to use ubuntu then the version i'm going to use the default 24.04 then the basic then cpu option i'll use the regular then i'll use a six dollar per month goldfish uh, doesn't consume much so uh, i won't be using ssh key i'll be using password so you choose a password that is hard to guess but you're going to remember it because we will need this password to log into the ssh server so I'll paste my password so for the tag you can use anything you want for me i'll be leaving mine blank you go to create droplets So why we wait for the droplets? Uh, this is a continuation video for the last video I made on Goldfish framework. So the droplet is loaded. Uh, this is the IP address of the droplet. So we'll be needing this IP. You write down your IP somewhere. Uh, you put it in a notepad and your password then i'll just uh, power up my kali linux box so you can make this video you can install your goldfish on windows linux or anywhere you want uh, the first installation i did was on the windows operating system so for this i'll be using a, a linux operating system so if you're going to make this installation on windows you install bash script um, the, the command line so it's easy for you to SSH so we need the IP you copy the IP address of your droplets then you go to the Kali Linux terminal the the command is SSH root at you paste your IP address and you hit enter If you're prompted uh, if you want the this thing you yes you choose yes if you want to continue connecting my system is really lagging please bear with me so when they prompt you for the password the password you put when you were creating your droplet you paste it there and you hit enter as you can see we are in inside the droplet we're in the ssh server so 
so you go to this website getgoldfish.com so you go to download you should scroll down to the part where you're going to see the the zip files of each operating system my system is really lagging behind so when you get there you have linux windows so i'm on linux i'm on the 64-bit uh, linux so i would right click whichever one you're choosing you right click and go to if you're choosing windows you choose windows so if you're doing it on linux you choose linux so i'm on linux 64 bits so you right click and copy the link location So back to the terminal. We need to install wget. Just in case you don't have wget installed, the command is apt install wget. So we need wget to download the files to our server. So wget is installed so the next thing we are going to do is type um, w uh, we, we should install um we need to install another package um, on zip for unzipping that this thing so the this thing is apt install on zip so for unzipping the zip file we are going to download so now we're going to use wget wget then you paste the link you copied you hit enter it's going to take a while depending on the how fast your server is so when it's done you ls ls is just to list the files so as you can see it's a zip file so we need to unzip it so we use the command unzip then you type the file name use tab autocomplete tab then you hit enter so it's unzipping the files now so it's done unzipping so ls let's list the files so you can see the unzip files so the first thing we have to do is let's uh, edit the config.json file because if uh, we need to use any text editor i'll be using nano so it's the command is nano config.json you hit enter so you go down to the listening url so instead of 127.0.0.1 you make it 0.0.0.0 you can leave the default um, port which is 333 or you can change it to whatever you want i'll be leaving mine as the default port So when you're done, you exit out of the, the nano.
So now we're going to make goldfish executable. It's not executable now. We're going to give it executable permission with ch mod. That's the command. Plus X. Then you put the file name you want to make executable. So for this case, it's the goldfish. So once you do that, you hit enter. The color will change to green like as you can see it's not executable if you see a color like that so we need to run the goldfish framework so what we're going to do this time around is uh, dot slash we paste we write the goldfish so just watch the way i'm doing just do it exactly the way i'm doing it and it's going to work out dot slash goldfish then you hit enter so the goldfish uh, this thing is loading the server is loading it's loaded so what we are going to do to assess the goldfish uh, dashboard we need the ip of the vps server so here's my ip so you have your own ip so i'll copy my own ip so you go to your browser make sure you add https because if you don't if you use http that it's going to show you an error so https then you paste the ip then column the port number so the port is 3333 if you didn't change yours it's going to be the same but if you change yours then you put the port number you change to you accept risk so there's no risk there's inside no so as you can see the goldfish uh, framework is uh, it's already uh, the server is running so i'll be ending the video here thank you